everybody, it's Brittany here with HeartCenteredFood.com and today we're in my kitchen, going to do something a little different. I had a few requests to do a video about the staples and typically what I have on hand and in my fridge at any given time. So I'm going to do a video and show you guys my fridge, my cupboards, and then just go over the appliances that I have here for my raw food lifestyle. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have my Breville juicer. My Black & Decker food processor, my Juiceman Citrus Juicer, and the Almighty Vitamix. And again, guys, I just want to stress how awesome the Vitamix is. Um, it can blend anything, I swear, and it comes out so smooth and soft, and you will not be disappointed if you end up purchasing a Vitamix. It's the king of all blenders. Okay, and then over here I have my Excalibur food dehydrator. Okay, and then right here I have a baking rack. I decided that I needed to do something because I was running out of fruit bowls and counter space to set out all my fruit for it to get ripe. So I went ahead and bought this bakery rack and some bins. Um, however, right now it is pretty full of bananas. I just hit the jackpot at Save Mart. So I'm going to freeze those babies and make me some ice cream and for my smoothies. And then I also have some dates over there and then some oregano, aloe, and a little plant. But typically it is full of more than just bananas. <laughs> Alright, so here's the inside of the fridge. And on this top shelf here I have some... Coconut milk all the way over there to your left. I have some passion tea. My husband loves that. He likes to mix that with some apple juice. Then I have some Adams 100% natural peanut butter. And then I have some green juice. I always have some green juice on hand. I'm getting low. This is my last one. I need to make another batch. Um, I have some sprouted buckwheat. I use that in my post-workout smoothies that I make. And then back here I have a lot of grapes. Whoops, I just turned off the light. <laughs> I have a lot of grapes and some strawberries and some fresh sliced pineapple. And on our next shelf I have some freshly ripe peaches some onion, a little bit of some pico de gallo that I had made left over. And I have some avocados, bowl of mangoes, and a few grapefruits. And in the back there, I have some Ezekiel brand bread. Um, my husband, every now and then, he'll have that. It's made with sprouted grains. Get that at your local health food store, and I get mine at Whole Foods. And then down here I have some greens. I have some romaine lettuce, some mixed spring um, salad mixes. I have some raw vegan cheese sauce. I have my raw ranch dressing. And then we have some fresh cherry tomatoes that I picked out of my garden. They're so yummy. Look at them. I have so many. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. Start handing them out. And then, let's see, down here. Have some lemons, a few more avocados, some tomatoes. And then I have some Ezekiel brand. Um, they also make sprouted green tortillas. Every now and then my husband likes to have some of that. And here I have its um, Daya brand delicious dairy-free mozzarella cheese. My husband likes to use that every now and then. And down here I have some carrots, some celery, and then what are those? Oh, those are some little limes. And in here is where I have all my greens, well some of my greens. I have green onions, some chard that I'll use for wraps, some zucchini. Romaine lettuce, cucumbers, dandelions for juicing, more romaine. And then this is how we, I typically store my greens. I just clean them and wash them off. 
Then I wrap them in a paper towel and put them in a Ziploc bag and squeeze all the air out of there. And it really does help um, prolong the greens from getting all nasty. And down here, I have a whole lot of apples and oranges. So that's it for this fridge. All right, so here's a whole fridge. And as you can definitely tell, we eat a lot of food. All right, and now on to the freezer. So here we have the freezer. It's a little messy compared to the refrigerator. But let me go through and let you guys know what I keep in here. Um, up here on this first shelf, I have some veggies, some frozen blueberries. And here I just have a lot of frozen fruit, blueberries, raspberries, coconut meat. Um, here I have some bananas that I'm freezing. And then just more frozen fruit, blueberries, bananas, mangoes, strawberries. Maybe a little popsicle. <laughs> Um, here I have frozen papaya, more bananas, and then uh, I store some of my nuts in here, the ones that I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. That way I can uh, prolong them. I also have some dehydrated coconut flakes and some nutritional yeast. And then I have macadamia nuts, almonds, pine nuts, sunflower seeds. I think that's it back there. Um, and then here, these are my pre-workout energy bars that I make. And then down here, I just have some more frozen veggies, um, some edamame, um, corn, and over here, more frozen nuts, and some mango, and blueberries, blueberries, and then let's, oh, organic miso. And that's all for the freezer, so let's head on over to the refrigerator. Okay, so onto the cupboard. I have some lentils, black beans, barley, garbanzo beans, some buckwheat, some quinoa, um, raw sunflower seeds, um, raw pumpkin seeds, which is a really good source of protein, um, especially if you're really active and into exercising. Just throw them in salads and smoothies. And, and then we have sun-dried tomatoes. And then on the next level, um, we have some kidney beans, uh, the cannelli. My husband loves beans. And then you have some vegetable broth. Every now and then I'll make a soup or something. And then uh, my top nuts probably over here. Walnuts, pecans, and almonds. I'd say I cook with those most often. All right, and then on this shelf, um, I have a lot of stuff going on here. So we'll start over here in this corner. I have some maca root powder that I put into my post-workout smoothies. I have coconut oil, I have some hemp protein, I have agave, maple syrup, um, cacao, salva, spirulina, hemp oil, um, sea salt, Chia seeds, and then some dulce, and nori sheets. And then, then I have my big old container of dehydrated coconut flakes or coconut milk.
Okay, now we are out in the garage to my second fridge. Thanks to Brandy and her family. Um, I desperately need another fridge. I was just running out of space for stuff. Um, so we got this from them. And let's see, on the top shelf here, I have some coconuts. I'm running low, I need to get me some more. And then I have some organic celery hearts for my juicing. And then I have a big old flat of strawberries and some cabbage. And then down here I have some kale. I just got that. I need to wash it and store it for juicing. And then I have this massive bowl of tomatoes, thanks to Jen. She went tomato picking at her papa's and had all kinds left over, so she was nice enough to share her wealth with me. She also gave me some garlic, too. I can't wait to start making some recipes with that. And then I have some watermelons and more peaches. And then down here, I just got all this stuff, so I still need to store it. I have cilantro, parsley, and carrots. Mostly the stuff's for juicing. And down here, mangoes. And then I have some more oranges out here and some pineapple. Okay, and then in the freezer section, um, we have another Ezekiel loaf. It's a raisin bran bread. And then I have my papaya. So this is typically how um, I will freeze anything. I'll go ahead and cut it up and just lay it out on a cookie sheet and let it get frozen first that way and then go ahead and transfer it to a Ziploc bag. That way not everything is sticking together. Um, I mean if you can you can just if you want you can just throw everything in the bag but it's going to get all sticky and hard to break apart so I do it this way. It's a little easier. Uh, some frozen raspberries, frozen strawberries, and then frozen pineapple. And that's it for this fridge. Alright, so that was a tour of the kitchen and the fridge and all the food that we have here. It is just my husband and myself, and as you can see, we eat a lot. We are very active, and we definitely do not starve ourselves <laughs> with a lot of people kind of think that. I don't know where they get that from, but we do eat a lot of food. Um, and when I do go out to the grocery store, you know, I just look to see whatever's on sale, whatever's cheapest, whatever's marked down. Um, like those bananas, I got a steal on those. They were all marked down because they were a little bit brown. So I'll go ahead and freeze those, make smoothies for and for banana ice cream. I just try to see whatever is cheapest on sale and I stock up at that. And that's typically what I will revolve our meals around. So I hope that that helped you guys. Um, what I suggest is to just start with the fruits and veggies that you like as of now. And just go from there and start incorporating more little by little. Um, I typically eat a lot of fruit for like the breakfast and lunch hour. And then I'll have a big giant salad for dinner. So I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at heartsandyourfood.com. And until next time, stay healthy, friends.